He was walking out of a, of a spa, and there were all of these beautiful women on chaise lounges. I was in Japan, I think. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and they were, and they were sunning themselves, and Sean was walking through all of the chaise lounges with these women sunning themselves. And I was sitting there as a little girl, and I said, I want to be one of them. <laughs> I want to be one of these ladies with this guy. And I was maybe like eight or 10 or something like that. And my sister who was sitting right next to me, she was like, Ooh. she didn't care either way. She was, I don't know where Debbie was, but I was in the film. I was with Sean, I was doing my thing. I had this real vision of me wanting to be in that, in, in that machine, in that, in that whole atmosphere. And then as a little kid, you know, you think that thought, you, then you go skate, you roller skate or something. And I, I just, it went out of my head. But when I did get that part, all of that came back to me, that remembrance of seeing him on the screen and the women, like you said, that they were goddesses. They were, every, every single one of them was more beautiful than the next one. So I, 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 I agree with you on that point. That's what drew me into Bond. It was the women that was like him too. <laughs> All of those beautiful women that he loved. He loved every single one of them. And it's, um, the Bond can't exist without his women, uh, that's for sure. Uh, and uh, that's why I did a documentary, uh, produced a documentary, initiated everything from the point of view of the actresses, which was about the evolution of Bond girls um, since Ursula Andress, uh, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. 2000 um, to uh, Skyfall, in fact, we did it because uh, I revamped it twice, the documentary. And um, uh, it's interesting to hear the, the uh, point of view of the actresses, what they went through uh, as Bond girls, and how the terminology of Bond girls was really with humor, very 60s, cool, you know, and, and, and nice. Mm -hmm. But then when Halle Berry came, Bond women, you know, came on board. Or even before, I think. Um, uh, a lovely, um, oh, I'm blanking now, Michelle Yeoh, mm. you know, mm. was she a Bond girl, was she a Bond woman, she, she, you know, she tops Pierce Brosnan in every fight and everything, you know. <laughs> Does her own stuff. So, and then what was wonderful in the documentary for me, in my storytelling, uh, was that uh, then the Bond woman became James Bond's boss, played by Judi Dench playing mm. Emma. <laughs> and for me that was just perfect for my storytelling. And she considers herself a Bond girl, which is hilarious. <laughs> because of who she is, of course. And I think I've seen Bond Girls Are Forever on a few tables downstairs. So if you can grab it, you should. I watched it this summer, and it's, it's a really good film. It's fun, yeah. yeah. 